Hey people, into tier 53 faction war. This is Catrium Purification Plant and Ordomalius versus the Tyranids. On the blue Ordomalius team, Elias is an Eversaur assassin, a risk reward brawler that explodes on death, fights mainly in melee combats alongside Handsome Sodding, is a demon hunter, a powerful psycho with a mix of support and control, fights in melee and rounding off the team is Mikhail Quencia as a good old brother captain. Very durable hero that walks through objects and cannot be suppressed. A powerful tank with some support in melee. Looks like Quencia took a little bit of time to get going. Red Tyranid team. Jester is a hive tyrant. A very durable hero walks through objects and cannot be suppressed with powerful disruption. Support and offense begins in a melee combat with a basic synapse. I shall call you Felipe. Alongside Guru Skippy is a Ravenna Alpha. A tunneling hero with great mobility, powerful offense and a bit of support. Begins with a ranged weapon as you can see, but can get specialized melee gear. Mixing it up with a demon hunter. Gonna get a special Izzy. There it is. Rounded off the team's Black Hawk down 342 with a Lick to Alpha. A melee specialist that can infiltrate and disrupt some powerful offense and a bit of support. Those Hormagaunts got caught there. Now the Lick to Alpha theoretically could do quite well against an early game ever saw, I think, in a 3v3 scenario like this. Wait for him to use the Psycon, and then you can kind of flesh hook him away, make him waste it. Maybe get up those feeder tendrils to go 1v1 pretty well and sustain yourself. Fighting some strike squad quite n right now. Termigans and Stormtroopers getting shots in. Uh-oh, there's a Psycon. They're going to kill the Lictor Alpha. Just as I said, he could do pretty well against an Eversaur early on. Down goes the Lictor. The Curse of Indrid immediately strikes. Strike squad chasing down. Some Termigants, Brother Captain alongside. Still has We Are the Hammer, of course, although it's been heavily modified. Less powerful effect, but it costs less energy to use. A little bit of a flank attempt here by Jester. Former Gaunts, without their adrenal glands, struggling to uh, fight the Strike Squad effectively. They did get pretty low, got a model off them. More Strike Squad there, though. Hive Tyrant, yeah. Manually move through them and then retreats so he doesn't get those retreat hits. Stormtroopers chucking their grenade. Pretty well done, I think. Here comes Guru Skippy back again. Tyranids did not present a united front there, did they? Former Gaunt's here with Adrenal Glands, but they took so much damage getting in. And Demon Hunter's doing some good work. I'm not sure if they are, in fact, going to nerf this guy's health in the next update from 750. I mean, it's not the end of the world. But I think it's a tad high. I'd expect him to be in line with the Inquisitor, maybe. She's got 720. She can't get shield and stuff, though. I mean, it's, it's hard to compare things directly. Strike Squad here for Quencia getting their Tomes of Titan for that damnation thing. Uh, sorry, banishment. Not sure why I keep calling it damnation. High of Tyrants got the Rending Talons. They will do great work against the Strat Squad. You just saw the Banishment there. Not a huge amount of damage, but it's a nice little bonus. And more Tomes of Titan for Quencia. Maybe they'll chuck out the Banishment and then flee. We've got some Purgation for Handsome Sodding. Quite versatile squad, these guys. Have those Suppressing Incinerators in Tier 2. They can get Silencers and also a Conversion Beam, which is quite fun. Yeah, this Felipe now a big threat with those rending talons. 75 melee DPS and a pretty good ability to seismic roar. Can't really swarm him like they did in those opening engagements now. We have Elias with triple stormtroopers and that strike squad. Ever saw Assassin just hanging out behind some cover ominously. The Lick to Alpha is back on its feet, making its way to the front. Former Gaunt's got torn up again. We've got a warrior brood up now. Help control the Eversaur, perhaps, with the Barb Strangler. Don't think you want to send them into melee with that guy, because he can get power weapons. And uh, just deal insane amounts of damage very quickly. Ravana brood for Guru Skippy. I think we're going to see tier 2s now. I don't think anything else is going to come out. Do they all have the Tomes of Titan? No, Elias's strike squad do not. They are 15 power. Did they give you anything else? No. 
It is being adjusted and the next update is being given its own damage type, I believe. So it no longer does extra versus heavy infantry. Oh, there's the um, rift tear from the Inquisitor. From the Demon Hunter, I should say. I guess technically is an Inquisitor. And we have the Blessed Aegis up for the Brother Captain. Obvious synergy with the various energy gaining stuff that the Ordo Malleus has. Purification from the Strat Squad also. Purification from the Demon Hunter himself. He starts with it too. And Canticle, Tan Canticle of Absolution. A global for the Brother Captain gives you energy regen. There's also the um, accessory for the Demon Hunter which grants nearby allies energy regen. It's a bunch of ways you can do it. Pretty fun mechanic. Strat Squad getting messed up by former Gaunts. They did really well with their Adrenal Glands, you know. Purgation moving up. They're quite low. But they'll fancy themselves in a firefight with Termigants, I would think. That AoE damage and suppression. There's that Barb Strand. That's a good hit. Just caught one of those Purgation models, which is enough to suppress the entire squad, of course. And Guru Skippy's Adrenal Gland. Former Gaunts doing some good work here. I think they match up reasonably well with uh, Strat Squad when they got their original glands. They typically do against all of the Marines in Tier 1. I mean, cost for cost, they do a good job. 399 to 412 on the VP's double cap for the Tyranids as the players start to think about their Tier 2s. In fact, Elias already there. Mincing up some Stormtroopers on retreat is the Ravenet Alpha. Ever saw using the Psychon way too early there. You want to be right in the thick of it before you use it, I think. I mean, there is a case to be made for using it just to get the damage resistance. If there's loads and loads of damage on the board in front of you, it could be worth losing the 100 health to then get that 30% damage resist. Especially if you, have, if you have the upgrade, which makes it only lose 50 health and last longer. Can't remember what that upgrade is called. I think it's the uh, the Sin Skin body, body Glove. The Tier 1 Armor upgrade, I believe. 25 power. Don't have the notes open at the moment. Level 2 Brother Captain mixing it up. Ravenna Bro getting in amongst the Strike Squad. Ravenna Alpha going for the Synapse Aura for damage. And look at this. Setting up a whole bunch of fire using the Demon Hunter's Rift Tear there. Wonderful to see that Tempest again in this game. It is being adjusted for 294. I'm not sure exactly how. Feeder tendrils on the way, on the field, in fact, for the Lictor Alpha. A power weapon that heals him, but down he goes again. Been caught a couple of times, a little bit sloppy. Black Hawk down. Rhino on the way for Quencia and some purifiers for Handsome Sodding. I do like seeing the, uh, the kind of elite tier 2 melee infantry come out. Are they going to respond with Gene Stealers here? Maybe. We do have melee synapse for Jester from the Warrior Brood. Tyranids doing a really good job here maintaining pressure. And look at this. Got all the way to the natural VP thanks to Guru Skippy stuff, I think. Yep. Strat Squad. Oh, sorry. Purifier is getting a bit close to all the Tyranid stuff here. Don't have their Jester cut up yet. They do have power melee weapons. And the Jester car has a heavy melee weapon. Big chunk of health. And a longer charge range. They're getting messed up here, though. A couple of banishments going in. Triple cap for the Tyranids. Yeah, Purifier's got a wreck there. We do have the Nemesis Demon Hammer for the Brother Captain. That big demolishing strike to smack around melee mobs. Decent damage output too. 100 melee DPS, isn't it? Yeah. It's not cheap though. Warrior Brew needs to get moving. They won't have any resistance against a melee weapon. Only super heavy infantry and command armor does, and of course vehicle armor. Seem to completely forget about these guys there, Black Hawk down. Generator goes up in the mid, so does the capillary tower. Demon Hunter, do you have any war gear? Not yet. Level 2. There's Felipe, has the improved synapse. In amongst some strat squad. Look at him tearing through them there. Banishment goes down. So does the Rift Tear. It's a seismic roar. It's all kicking off. Rhino going for the heavy bolter turret for Quincy up. We've got 
some disruptive grenade launchers. Allowing the Eversaw to cap, maybe. They should maybe be uh, trying to fire upon this Brood Nest. The Brood Nest did get a cost increase in 293. Up to 125 red, I believe, from 100. Pretty good global. Victor Alpha getting stuck in with those feeder tendrils. Now has the deadly jump to. Psycon popped from the Eversaw and again takes down the Lictor. Why did he say anything, Indrid? Said he'd do well against Eversaur. He's been wrecked like three or four times. Look at this now. Eviscerator Axe for the Eversaur. 65 power melee DPS. Of course, that'll be boosted by the Psycon and gives him kill zone, which increases the damage, the melee damage any units inside it take by 30%. And I believe it increases his damage even further if he's inside it. So you can stack that up to insane amounts. You can get a 30% Damage resistance, damage resistance debuff. Then use Psycon for 30% damage bonus and then get inside the kill zone itself for I think another 30%. I don't think it stacks additively, but still pretty damn good. 191 to 377. The Tyranid advance stopped by fire there. Purifier's getting stuck in. They do have their just a car and then they stand around. Taking shots here. Rhinos alongside to allow them to reinforce. Big push by the Auto Malleus. They do have a Grey Knight Dreadnought up with that very fancy looking flame up. Ben and Brood getting caught. Very good push from the Auto Malleus by the captain leading the line. Gone for. Oh, the Bulwark. This is something that's been reworked. It's a very powerful buff at the moment. And it only costs 20 power, as you can see there. Look at that. 35% melee resistance. 15% damage increase and health regen. And it's only 20 power. I don't think you should give a damage increase. And I think it should be 25 power because that's a really good, really good buff. But I'm not sure exactly how they're going to adjust it. Victor Alpha jumps away there. And they're keeping the pressure up to get a power bash. Just as a reminder, 293 is the first iteration of these new heroes and a bunch of the new war gear and auto malleus unit reworks and stuff so expect some balance issues but they are very much actively working on things for a relatively quick turnaround on the next update there's that rift tear again debuffing the speed of that stuff does the demon hunter have any war gear not yet not yet you can get a like a, just a regular power sword in tier one i believe for, for 20 power Literally just gives you 50 DPS power melee. Nice little option though to mix it up early on. Do a little bit of brawling. 191 to 311, especially if you want to kill some warriors, say. But now he's in... Oh, he's gone tier 3. Could get the Force Glaive. He's also got a Force Rod, which sounds fun. Gives him a whole bunch of energy. That guy can get so much energy. Brain out Dreadnought. Maybe overextended a little bit is uh, turning around. Gone for the plasma cannon, which also arms it with a heavy bolter. And we have Maelstrom here. Invested a lot in this dreadnought now. Needs, needs to do a lot. 2 to 1 cap for the Auto Malleus. Quencia down to the Strat Squad. And now a dreadnought. Gone for the melee upgrade here. Wasn't paying a huge amount of attention to uh, what happened to Quencia's army, I'm afraid. Just trying to talk about things with the new Order Malleus, fellas. We've got Tier 3 now for Elias as well. A Carney effect on the way for Jester. And for Guru Skippy. Coming out at just the right time for the Tyranids to hit back here. Ever saw Assassin's in a little bit of trouble. There's that Flesh Hook. And gets the kill. And of course, the Ever saw explodes on death. It does 20 explosive damage. His uh, default explosion and knockback you can, of course, increase that with the bio meltdown, which I think is a global that's being toned down a bit. But it's pretty nuts right now. Does damage around the Eversaw while draining his health, and then if he dies, it does like 75 explosive damage. Termigant's capping. Tyranids did this successfully push through. First Carnifex is a Thornback. 
go toe to toe with the purifiers and easily win that fight. There's the rift tear. Oh, we have the armor of damnation, which means tempest is available for the demon hunter, and we see, yeah, tome of tranquility. This is the only accessory I've seen purchased for the demon hunter. Gives him tons of energy regen and some AOE energy regen as well. Now up to 270 energy at level 3. The Null Rod, or sorry, the, the Force Rod, used to be called the Null Rod. I think it gives plus 75 energy. There's a lot. Gives him some kind of ability too. We have the Barb Strangler for the other Carnifex. Bring that Dreadnought's being messed up here. There's not a lot of anti-vehicle on the field for the Order Malleus right now. Dreadnought goes down. Tyranid's looking quite strong. Tier 3 now for Black Hawk down. Wow, you really floated there, buddy. Brother Captain falls. Victor Alpha starting to, starting to feel a bit dangerous, you know. Gone for corrosive claws now. Power melee, which debuffs the target, makes them slower and, uh, yeah, they take more damage. Pretty nice weapon. For a sneaky Lictor, got the pheromone as well. Grey Knight Terminator is for Elias. Doesn't really help you against these carnifexes effects, though. Maybe we'll see some Paladins from the Brother Captain, but he is, uh... Quencia is very low on resources right now. Very, very low. He really got hit hard there, the Order Malleus Tink. Eversaw's getting a revive. Has the lightweight drug. Increases movement speed by 0.5 and extends charge range even more from 15 to 18. Little bit of health and a little bit of energy regen too. Gives him a little bit of everything. I believe this is being uh, changed. Oh man, Strat Squad got messed up from Quencia. They're not paying attention here. There's a Tempest. But yeah, I believe the lightweight drug is being like uh, merged with one of his other war gears, the one that gives him the charge. I think he's losing the charge, I believe. But it's going to get uh, a bunch of speed bonuses and stuff from it. Conversion beam up. More damage the further from the target it is. You can also use... What is it called? I'm not sure. There's an ability you can use to make it snare targets as well. Getting a good amount of damage on that Carnifex. Just as kind of marching it around inside the firing up, trying to dodge the orbital bombardment. There's the Granite Terminators. Doing some capping, supported by Stormtroopers there. You can do some good work for your Stormtroopers if you can micro them well. They've got that overcharged plasma shot. Grenade Barrage, they've got that fanaticism. Down goes Elixir Alpha again. Quencia though, down to a single unit and goes tier 3. Handsome Sodding asking for Paladins, as you would, but... Gonna be a while there, buddy. Tons of red for Quencia, but not much of anything else. Demon Hunter. Going for the Warrior Brew, doesn't have a melee weapon upgrade. But they still get stuck in. Here's the purifiers. They can certainly smack those guys around. Felipe, the Hive Tyrant, goes down. Carnifex is there waiting for the purifiers. And there is the Tempest. Channeled, channeled by the Demon Hunter. Looks like it's it only hit the uh, Termigants a little bit there. And now a Orbital Bombardment from Elias, I think. 166 to 224. Swarmlord on the way for Black Hawk down, and a Neurothrope is up for Jester, running away at the moment. One to one. Purifiers don't want to fight a Thornback Carnifex. Conversion Beam getting shots in, needs to be careful though. Turn around and smack it, maybe? Or not. Need some health, that guy. I don't have any zone throats for Symbiosis. Uh oh. Terminator's getting in trouble. Flesh Hook kills one. Man, this Lictor Alpha has been all over the place. He's got some good kills, but also died a bunch of times. They're going to get him. I think they're going to get him. Former Gaunt's are pretty good chasers, and down go those Grey Knight Terminators. Automalius kind of falling apart here. 
There are some fresh ones from Handsome Sodding. They just haven't dealt with the Carnifexes at all. No Vindicares, no Laz Cannon Rhinos, no Tier 3 Interceptors with the Side Cannons upgrade. All they've got is a single conversion beamer. I guess the Plasma Cannon Dreadnought could get some shots in. Is this kill zone? Yes, that's kill zone, I believe. That's the from the Eviscerator Axe. Oh, they got the Carnifex. Just as I said, they haven't dealt with them at all. One goes down. And Paladins all of a sudden from Quencia. Heavy Melee, Nemesis Demon Hammers, and the pretty awesome Holy Grounds ability, not to mention a truckload of hit points. These, yeah, Felipe got in trouble there. Didn't realize he was up. There's a Swarm Lord. It's got all the bone swords. Venom Cannon Carnifex. And the Barb Trangler's leaving for some reason. He's nice and healthy. There's the Tempest. First the slowdown. Then the Sable's abilities. Then it blinds you and then it does this damage. But it takes basically all of your energy away, as you can see from the Demon Hunter there. Oh, Blade Flurry from the Swarm Lord. That was pretty cool. Eversaur Assassin got to level 5. Done well. Swarm Lord smacking up some Grey Knight Terminators now. Should turn and engage the Purifiers, I think. But might get a model off these guys. They're staying in with him. Meanwhile, Stormtroopers in there are trying to cap. There's Holy Grounds back there. Paladins have overextended from Quencia. They have their Lab of the Monica too. That's how they got that Holy Grounds. And they're going to die. Going to lose them. Lost them. Been a rough game for Quencia. Got some Gene Stillers up now for Guru Skippy. Was hoping to see these guys against the Grey Knights. Going after the Terminators, you know. They ain't scared of no splash damage power melee, it seems. They have their Rending Claws, which is actually less DPS against infantry because the power melee will do bonus but gives them some great versatility to go after vehicles and stuff 113 to 224 and they got really messed up there really messed up Ter terminated teleport after them oh but they couldn't rotate fast enough to get that hit there tyranid is still on top for sure quincy just can't keep units on the field right now one of those games for them one of those games we got um Blue Team's natural. Being retaken slowly. Raffin Alpha has corrosive devourer and regenerate. Oh, here's a psychic lash too. Not sure how much energy it uses it needs to activate. But he's losing a lot of it putting the shield up and stuff. 91 to 224. Flesh hook out of infiltration. Both level 6, these guys. Eversaur going after him. It's just headhunting that Lictor Alpha, the Eversaur. Grey Knight Dreadnought's done well, you know. A lot was invested, and he's got level 3, almost level 4. There's a the Tempest again. And, oh, they survived it. They bloody survived it. Conversion Beam are getting those long range powerful shots in. Oh, are the Purifier's gonna go down on retreat? You're gonna turn around and smack them? But oh, they have 300 hit points still, they're fine. 2 to 1 still for the Tyranids. Quencia still has no units up here. Just those Stormtroopers. Really had a rough game. Held on surprisingly well to Auto Malleus here. That was a demolishing strike. Oh, thought about taking a swing, but decides to flee. They could turn around and kill him then, maybe, with some melee. Perhaps. No, nope, it just got into the range of the capillary tower, got a little speed boost. And they go for the decap. 61 to 218. 2 to 1 for the Auto Malleus. We have a Land Raider Crusader for Elias. And they are decapping the west side. Venom Brood being all suppressed and stuff by the Hurricane Bolters. Ouch, and the Twin Links Assault Cannon helps with that, of course. Swarm Lord very slowly healing up off the Brood Nest. He should go back to base, really. Here comes the Carnifex. Spawns some Rippers, fighting 
some Grey Knight Terminators and an Eversaw. They're not a huge threat to it. There goes the kill zone. There goes Psychon as well. I think the Eversaw is set to get a Melter Bomb, you know, in the next update. So he's going to have a little bit of anti-vehicle utility. I mean, more than a little bit. The Melter Bombs are awesome. We have a tier 3 Lictor on the field now for Guru Skippy. Got a new portrait for them. Look at that. Pretty awesome. Not sure where it is. Looks like it's coming towards the um, natural VP of the blue team. Dan Reddy Preset is being chased. Conversion Beam doing what it can. There's a Toronto Formation. I think Toronto Formation got a little buff. The Spires come up a little faster, as you can see. Tempest goes off. Oh man, get some good kills with the Tempest there. They kind of panic retreated out of it, which is understandable. They were in a really bad position there. Try and dodge it. 38-214. Quencia gets a land. Red Chris said that's what they were saving up for. That's what they were saving for. Does have the Multimelter on top, right? Yeah. Does have some anti-vehicle. Look at this Grey Knight Dreadnought. Level 4 has been awesome. Swarm Lord has been really good too, using the... Leech Essence, I think it's called. To drain some health there. A level 10 Demon Hunter. Just levels up so much off the uh, Tempest. And look how quickly he regenerates energy. Look at this. Pretty damn good. Shooting up some capillary Towers because of the filthy Xenos nature of them, you know. Flesh Hook into a Swarm Lord. It's got to be a bad time. But then the Lictor didn't attack. There we go. Attack him. Got path blocked by the Swarm Lord. The Tyranids have it though with a 2 to 1 cap here. They put enough pressure on this natural VP. And Quencia got the Land Raider Crusader out a little bit too late. Let's look at his heroes end of the game. Level 7 Eversaw was cool to see the axe. It has a unique model. Look. Look at that. Pretty good. Demon Hunter, level 10. Again, doing some great work with Tempest. Enjoy it while it lasts, because it's going to be nerfed. And a level 6 brother Captain Quincy had a rough time. Happens to us all. Three Carnifex is up for Jester, who was a level 4 Hive Tyrant. Level 6 Ravenna Alpha, and a level 7 Lictor Alpha. Was not the highest level faction war, but I wanted to bring you some more Ordo Malleus action. Hope you enjoyed it, guys. Big thanks to Handsome Sodding for sending it in. And for these guys, for playing it, I'll see you next time.